Yeah, he's out with Papa tonight. Watch out for that boogeyman. I overheard my daughter saying this to her little dog, Jack, while preparing him to go outside. Watch out for that boogeyman. There's danger out there. And she was right. That boogeyman is real. It's plain to see. And he's as near to us as near can be. He's out there hiding in the shadows behind a tree. A tree that's much too small to hide him at all. It's the boogeyman that children have all feared all through their young years when their sunny days turn into night. He's an evil man that's out in the darkness of the night, a man that can give you an awful fright. He puts on a disguise as a bailiff policeman during the day. But at night, it becomes the one they've all feared. The boogeyman has truth. The cowardly cop that plagues us at night when the darkness falls and days turn into night. It's the boogeyman, all right, a psycho cop that fills the night with the danger the children had all feared. A psycho cop that sneaks around hiding in the dark in those shadows so quiet he stays out of sight. He waits in the night for his chance soon to come to stage an attack on an elderly one. He brings an attack that will bring a joy to just one. It's a thrill that he seeks when he releases his big dog. It's a killer he sends to make an attack upon a little and innocent dog. It's a quick bloody kill that he will that will give him a thrill as a little dog cries out in pain. This belly policeman, this boogeyman, is the thing that all children have feared. And a psycho cop he has truly become. This cowardly scum that hides in the night, a stalker that's hiding and waiting for a fight. Waiting in the shadows, behind the bushes and trees, this, his psychotic plans are soon to begin. It's a man in a wheelchair with two little dogs at his side. It ain't beer in the street. It's the target, he, the target he seeks. The psycho cop has forbidden, forbidden this old man to pass. With a beating, his promise, and a kick in the ass, just for daring to pass. The minutes of waiting slowly went by, waiting for that old man in a wheelchair to slowly come near and go by. And waiting there with him was his big killer dog, standing there right at his side. Waiting to begin another vicious attack, and his hope for a kill that continued to grow. An awful sound broke out through the darkness of the night when that killer dog was released to begin its kill fight. In the chaos that followed, the cop's wife come running out and tried to stop, stop get inside, but he wouldn't listen. The old man had gotten out of his wheelchair to save his small dog, and a young son hollered, Dad, why'd you do that again? The old man had struck that big old dog and got him off little Jack to save him that day. But the cop, he pushed the old man backwards over the top of his wheelchair. And that's when he hollered for it. The brave little dogs had fought back as hard as they could, but wounded they were forced to retreat. 
the boogeyman that children have feared in all their young years is now real, a fact you should know. That psycho cop is still hiding in the shadows each night. He's out there waiting and wanting to cause another fight. The old man was charged with animal cruelty for hitting that dog to save his little dog from that vicious Weimariner dog, the killer dog.